Welcome to 3.3's Math Moment. Today, students learn patterns and multiplication of decimals. So our first example is 45 times 23 hundredths. So the very first thing that we tell students to look at is just go ahead and multiply this. Normally, we'll add in the decimal at the very end. And sixth graders are very familiar with multiplication. So I know 5 times 3 is 15, carry my 1. 4 times 3 is 12, plus one more is 13. Cross off my 3 because I've already used it, put my 0 down for my placeholder because now I'm multiplying in the tens place. I have 5 times 2, which is 10, carry my 1. 4 times uh, 2 is 8, plus one more is 9. Go ahead and add these together as normal, 5, 3, and then 10. And then we tell our students to go back and look for the decimal. I go to the very end of my number, which is over here, and how many hops do we have to go? One, two. So we had to hop in two times to our number. We need to move over two spots. I'm going to go over to my number. I'm going to hop over one, two spots, which makes my answer 10 and 35 hundredths. We also worked with word problems today. So for example, number two, it says Jack purchased nine pizzas for a party. Each pizza costs $8.57. How much did Jack spend? Okay, so we know that he purchased nine pizzas. This is kind of a tricky one because it's not a numerical number, but it is word, written in words, so that's the number nine. I'm going to write nine up there so we know that it's what we're going to multiply with. And then they each cost $8.57. How much did he spend? Well, this one's a little bit tricky because each pizza costs this amount. I know I need to figure out that I have nine of them, so my number should be getting larger. So I'm going to take my $8.00 in my 57 cents times my nine pizzas. I know nine times seven is 63. Put my three down, carry my six. I know nine times five is 45, plus six more is going to be my 51. And then I have nine times eight, which is 72, plus five more is 77. Again, I need to go into my end of my problem to put my decimal in there. Because I know looking at my number right now, $7,000 for pizza seems a little bit unreasonable. So I need to go back and look for that decimal. I need to go over to the end of my number, one, two hops over, into my number, one, two hops over. $77.13 seems a lot more reasonable for the nine pizzas that Jack purchased for his party. If you have any questions about today's lesson, make sure you see your math teacher.